In today's video, I will show you how to turn a time lapse into a time slice using After Effects and how to use ChatGPT to make this a one click action. Let's fire up After Effects and get started. The best type of video to use for this effect is a time lapse of a sunrise or sunset, like this one I created in Amsterdam. The first step is to create a new composition, drag and drop your time lapse to the composition icon, and a new composition with your time lapse will pop up. Then we will create our first slice. Duplicate the base layer, move the play at 20 frames forward. This 20 frames will be the time shift. You can also do 10 or 50, whatever you like. Instead of moving your mouse, you can also use the shortcut command shift arrow key two times and you'll be at 20 frames. Then move the beginning of the layer to this playhead, go to effects and search for linear wipe. Double click to apply this effect, change the value of transition completion to 10 or 5%. Whatever value you put in here, this will be the size of your slice. If you put in 10%, we will have 10 slices on the frame. If you put in 5%, we will have smaller but more slices in the end. I will go with 10% for this tutorial, so we will end up with 10 slices. To create a second slice, duplicate the first one, move another 20 frames forward, match the start point of the layer and change the transition completion value to 20%. Now you have to repeat this process for all other layers until the slices cover the whole screen. For each new layer, skip 20 frames, move the layer and add 10% on the transition completion parameter. Another 20 frames, move the layer 50%. Once you're done, your screen should look like this and the last slice should have a value of 90% up here and you can skip through and see from the original time-lapse one after one the different slices will appear. That's not really the loop you saw in the beginning. To create this you have to select all of these layers, duplicate them, move all of the duplicates to the top of the stack, then select all layers of the bottom stack, move the playhead to the position where the bottom layer of the top stack ends, right here, and then move the bottom stack so the beginning of the bottom layer down here matches the ending of the bottom layer of the top stack. This will give you an effect where from the original labs, one after one the slices will pop up and then from the left the slices come in again. To make it a seamless loop, we have to duplicate the bottom stack again, but this time move all of the layers to the complete bottom of the composition. Once again, find the timestamp where the bottom layer ends Move this one so the beginning of the bottom layer of the bottom stack matches the ending of the stack above. And then we have to do one last step. We select all of the layers of this middle stack, right click, time, time reverse layer. As you can see, the knight goes out to the right and comes in back from the left, creating a seamless loop of the time slice. To avoid those black bars coming in from the side, we need to adjust the in and out points of the composition. The in point will be where the middle stack begins. So right here, move the work area start to here, and it will end where the bottom layer of the bottom stack ends, which is right here. Move the work area end, then you can do right click, trim comp to work area, and you will end up with a seamless time slice animation. As you can see at the end, we have the sun popping up at the left and also at the beginning. As you can see, this is quite a repetitive process. This means the perfect task to automate. Let me show you how I use the Adobe scripting language to create time slices with a few clicks. I use ChatGPT to help me with this. Creating a script with ChatGPT takes some time, but you only have to go through this one time and save a lot of time in the future. I already prepared the prompt, which I gave ChatGPT. I typed in create an After Effects script as JSX file. JSX is the file type you will need for After Effects to work with. I also added that I can download, so ChatGPT will provide a downloadable file for me. And then I explained what the script should do. Over try and error, I realized the more detailed your instructions are, the better the first script is. I detailed out what I want the script to do. The script should create nine copies of the selected layer, which is for 10 slices. Each new copy should be shifted by plus 25 frames. The first copy 25, the second 50 and so on. For each new copy, the script should add a mask to the layer, which covers 10% for the 10 slices of the composition's width. The first mask should be 10 to 20% of the composition, starting from the left, the second one 20 to 30, and so on. Also, to every new copy, assign the lowest layer number. The last sentence will make sure the layer with the smallest time shift is right above the base layer. 
click send and ChatGPT will do some coding for you. As you can see, the script comes to life. If you don't like this view, you can close it, go back to the normal one and wait until ChatGPT is done typing. Sometimes ChatGPT doesn't give you the script as download. Type in, give me the download. Then ChatGPT should provide you with a downloadable file. Back in After Effects, let's create a new clean composition. Make sure our time lapse is in there. Then go to File, Scripts, Run Script File, and navigate to the folder where you save the JSX file. Double click it if the script has been generated correctly. All that you have done before by hand has been created using a script with just a few clicks. This is a basic script to automate the creation of time slices and you can add more functions like masking and animating to this. For example, I added a prompt which asks for the numbers of slices and also creates one for loop of the effect. I hope you learned something new today and make some good use of the techniques I explained in this video. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe so you don't miss new videos on this channel. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.